Hey, what's up, guys? This is DAM, DAM Trader. I'm going to another recap um, for Monday morning at 5 May 17th, 2021. And so um, today, um, 66% winning rate. Um, last money today on ALF. Um, let's bring this up. So traded on ARPO, CALA, and ALF. And last money on ALF. Biggest gain, $452 at 11.33%. And so total return for today is $441 because of that loss on ALF. Anyway, LF is freaking annoying and so let's go to the chart and see what happened Ooh, that sound that is my alert from thinker swim swim so all right um let's go to the chart <coughs> so here arpo um is the one i was looking at this morning it um spiked all the way to 160 there but it wasn't able to um, recover that but I mean you know one that's about what 30 38 percent 38 point six percent somewhere there 39 percent and so that was a good gap and so <clears throat> um, if you guys look at the one day one minute so I broke my rule of not trading you know more than one stock at a time and so that's what got me with ALF <laughs> but anyway I traded ARPO the whole time basically um, yeah let's look at it it's uh, so it closed right here around 116 I think <clears throat> yeah and at 116 and um, you know um, I would do my white rectangle rectangle and then um yeah um i would note that that's the area where you know there's gonna be a s support area there especially when this gapped up so as it comes down i add you know i enter with 300 shares it went down below view app 300 shares and then um continue adding 500 700 shares right there um total of um what two thousand it's 1000 right and then um i tried to get in at 118 i wanted to get it at 118 so bad but didn't get me filled and so i waited <clears throat> it it um, bounced and dropped and right when it broke 126 there that's when i got in right you see that 126 entry right there i was hoping that it was going to touch view up and continue but it didn't and instead um, it dropped lower and so um, right here right in the bottom of this if you guys look at the low of this is 122 that's when I get in um, 122 I add it and I notice that it's some um, higher lows right it's forming higher lows and so now I'm in with 2,000 shares <laughs> and um, as it bounced broke through view app I should have held it longer but I was like uh you know um i didn't like that it was um you know most of the volume here was on um selling volume there's only a little bit of um buying volume so i didn't see the potential on this until of course right here this is when i sold uh, my thousand shares and then uh, when i saw that i was like oh man um buyers coming in um missed um i should have sold all of them here um instead um i sold 1,000 shares right here and another 100 shares so let's see 700 that's a thousand five hundred oh sorry <laughs> so I was in with 2,500 shares so I mean with um, I sold 2,000 shares right here and sold the other 100 shares because I started seeing that it's um you know look at that drop right um, you want to be very cautious when you see that drop it went from up here from here to here that's about eight percent and so that drop is about four point eight so about five percent drop you don't want to get in that and so you got to start thinking of selling um so I, 
I sold some but didn't um, sell all of it. Instead, I continue adding as a drop. Um, I was targeting view up here. Bought 100 shares there, another 100 shares, another 100 shares. As you continue going down, you know, my trend line. You got to make your trend line, guys, and adjust your trend line as it goes. As it breaks down lower, um, you know, bring down that trend line lower, right? Be, um, your pro, uh, sell, your limit sell is right here at 118. So that's that's where my um, sell target is. So if it drops lower, I will sell that at 118. However, it didn't. And so now it's starting to create another um, higher lows, right? So I waited. Didn't sell there. Um, it dropped, and as it broke that, I was like, okay, that, that's there's a good chance there. Um, it broke, and I started selling, um, what, 100, 400, um, five, 800 shares there. I did add, I was in fit 500. So I did add about two, three, what, five, 700, right? And so I sold some of it didn't sell all of it I think I held about 200 shares and so as it um, comes down ooh, this is good action this is actually a good um sign there that's curling up you know this is this is still um, higher lows so I would not count ARPO out yet <coughs> uh, I might trade this in a little bit but anyway I drop um, lower here I believe um, so I sold here, I bought more here, sold 10 shares there, and sold the other 10 shares there. And it jumped and then dropped. Now right here, I was gonna, I was thinking of selling all of it. Um, my target was $500, but it didn't go all the way, it didn't break, and it dropped lower instead. And so I continue adding down here. <clears throat> here, the high of this was 149, exited at 148, so that was perfect. Um, here the high was 152 and I missed out on that like <sighs> I was targeting 150 area <clears throat> but um, you know I didn't exit there instead it continued dropping and I was like oh that doesn't look that great so um, then it started bouncing here um, got in at 137 the low of this one was 136 so buying the dip guys bought a dip goes up sold it at 145 there um bought more here and sold the rest at um 144. and so um that was my trade on um yeah see um arpo um my loss was on let me make this slightly bigger here my loss was on alf now with CALA, I was just testing out the water. Um, I saw this on the scanner. Um, it dropped, right? Right here, it dropped to view app. I get in it to view app, bounce up, sold it right there. The high of the scanner was 244. I sold it at 241. So 234 entry, sold it at 241. Should have been with been in with a bigger share, but um, uh, not that confident on this share is only 74 million so yeah um, the other the loss was on ALF now mind mind you that you know while this is while I was trading um, ARPO so my attention was attention was divided so again broke my rule that's the reason why I wasn't in with the biggest bigger share um, sorry ALF now with ALF ALF um, fake me. Um, so this is a bull trap, right? I saw this down here. I saw it dropped to VWAP. I should have gotten it on VWAP, but um, I wanted to. I wanted it to curl, and so it curled up. I missed it. Dropped down. Should have tried to get in right here. Didn't get in. Instead, um, it spiked up. I got FOMO. Um, 399 that's when I started buying um, let's see yeah but for at but some at um, 395 404 and 399 average of 399 so um, yeah um, bad play here 
I was thinking that it was gonna rip, but um, you know it's only 11 million shares. It should have ripped, just take off, but it didn't. It dropped, but at um, view app there, uh, 386, and <laughs> continued dropping, um, dropped lower, and I was like, forget it, I'm done. So I sold everything at um, 372 with the $11 um, loss, and so yeah. Big win was on ARPO, um, made $441 today, um, not bad, I mean, if there's a stock that is, you know, gapping up, I would trade that, um, because, you know, I'm a momentum trader, but um, sometimes I get faked out and get into the hype and the FOMO, so... Uh, be careful guys with the FOMO guys anyway um, yeah that's my trade for today um, hopefully you guys whoever you guys are trading whoever are, are trading today hopefully you guys um, end up with the green with green today so take your gain guys take your gain never forget that all right this is DAM trader signing off thank you for watching guys and make sure you like subscribe and take care Thank you.